These are my Premier League Game Week 11 predictions and betting tips. Guys, as you know, we're on our road to 100,000 subscribers. Hopefully, by the end of the year, we don't have much time to make that happen. So if you haven't, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave us a like. Let's try and hit 2,000 likes on this week's Premier League video. And if you haven't, make sure you drop your predictions down in the comments. Without further ado, let's get in to the first prediction. First up, we got Fulham taking on Manchester United. Now, Fulham are coming off a 1-1 draw against Brighton, where, to be honest, Brighton completely dominated that game with 72% possession. They had plenty of chances in that first half to put the score probably 2 or 3-0 um, in their favor. And then Fulham would have found it very, very difficult to come back. But to give Fulham credit, they did hang in there defensively and they managed to equalize in the second half. They now sit 14th with one win from their last five. But they're coming up against Manchester United who have not been in good form this season. They sit 8th at the moment with five wins and five losses so far from their 10 games. And they're coming off a 3-0 loss to Manchester City where, to be honest, as a Manchester United fan, fan it was very very difficult to watch they got absolutely dominated annihilated they probably should have lost four five six nil I mean that Man City side were really really on form that day and I'm just worried for Manchester United I mean only managing three shots on target that entire game I think Fulham will be a little bit of a difficult task here for United but I do expect them to win I'm going for a 2-1 Manchester United win but my betting tip is both teams to score <laughs> Next up, we got Brentford taking on West Ham. Now, in both of their games last week, they were massive, massive surprises. For Brentford, a massive 2-0 win over Chelsea. Yes, Chelsea were dominant the entire game, but it only took one or two chances for Brentford to take that lead. And then Mbremo put the, the, the nail in the coffin in stoppage time. Brentford now sit 10th with back-to-back -back wins. And they're coming up against the West Ham side who aren't in good form at the moment. West Ham coming off a shock 1-0 loss to Everton at home. I mean, they started off the season off so, so well. They were up high in the log. They were uh, getting win after win. They looked very, very dangerous. But now they've only won one out of their last five games. Again, had the majority of the possession, but just could not get the job done. And that is saying something when they came up against Everton, one of the worst defensive sides in the competition this year. Now, West Ham, they do still sit ninth at the moment. But I think Brentford coming off that big win, they are the form side. West Ham are in all sorts of trouble at the moment. I'm going for a 2-1 Brentford win and my betting tip is Brentford to win. Next up, we got Manchester City taking on Bournemouth. Now, we spoke about Man City's game against Manchester United and if I wasn't a Manchester United fan, um, unbiasedly, they played very, very well and it's actually good to see Man City back on, uh, on a winning track because for the past couple of the weeks they've been here and they're sort of in the Premier League and the Champions League but that 3-0 convincing win over Manchester United Haaland getting two goals Foden getting a goal they now still sit third behind unbeaten Arsenal and Tottenham and they should make pretty light work of this Bournemouth side but Bournemouth are coming off that 2-1 win over Burnley they fought their way back from 1-0 down Bournemouth are typically much, much better at home than they are traveling, which is why they were able to come back against Burnley. They sit 17th in the log, but I just think this is going to be a very, very long day for this Bournemouth side against what looks like to be a rejuvenated Manchester City side. So for me, going for a 4-0 Manchester City win, and my betting tip is Manchester City at a handicap of minus 2.5. <laughs> Next up, we got Sheffield United taking on Wolves. Now, Sheffield came up against Arsenal last week and got absolutely annihilated 5-0. Now, I don't think at, at any point we thought that Sheffield were going to stand a chance in that game, but for them to get no shots on target is very, very worrying. I mean, they still sit stone last in the league, still looking for their first win of the season, and they're coming up against a Wolves side who seem to be uh, uh, turning a corner at the moment. Last week, we spoke about them boiling under. Uh, then they came off that 2-2 draw against Newcastle, which is exactly what we called. They beat Fulham the week before. They're now unbeaten in their last five games. They've made their way up into 12th, and they will want another three points here. I mean, this Wolves side, this Wolves side is just figuring something out at the moment, and I think they make pretty light work of Sheffield United here. So I'm going for a 2-0. Wolves win, and my betting tip is Wolves to win. 
Next up, we got Burnley taking on Crystal Palace. Now, Burnley coming off that 2-1 loss against Bournemouth where they were 1-0 up and I think they pictured much bigger things for themselves, especially against Bournemouth, but they ultimately couldn't hang on. They still sit 19th with only one win to their name so far uh, so far this season. And I think they're going to struggle against this Crystal Palace side who are coming off a 2-1 loss to Tottenham. And to be fair, I don't think anyone really thought they, were, they had the ability to beat Tottenham last week. But it could have been very, very close. Crystal Palace led in an own goal. Uh, Tottenham only had one shot on target the entire game and someone still managed to win. I mean, they're just a very, very difficult side to beat at the moment. But Palace sitting 13 to 21 win out of their last five. I feel like they do need to bounce back here, but Burnley at home is, is a tough, tough customer. So for me, I'm going for a 1 1 draw and my betting tip is under two and a half goals. <laughs> Next up, we got Everton taking on Brighton. Now, Everton coming off that massive, massive 1-0 win over West Ham where they didn't have the majority of the possession. They, yes, they created a couple of chances. Dominic Calvert-Lewin eventually taking that chance. But what a result for that Everton side. I mean, they've been knocking on the door for the, for the good part of the first nine games. They're creating so many chances. Yes, their defense hasn't been great. But now they're up into 15th. They've won three out of their last five games. And they could potentially upset Brighton here. Yes, Brighton made a phenomenal start to the season. But they seem to be struggling a little bit. Winless in their last four. They're coming off that 1-1 draw against Fulham where they had all the ball, all the chances, and couldn't make anything happen with it. They now sit seventh, and I think this one could go either way. Brighton could come out and beat Everton 3-4-0. Everton could come out and just sneak a win here. For me, I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw, and my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Next up in one of the biggest games of the week, it's Newcastle taking on Arsenal. Now, we spoke about Newcastle's 2-2 draw against Wolves, where Callum Wilson picked up both goals there. Yes, Newcastle are in good form. They're unbeaten in their last five. They sit sixth, but they just seem to lack a little bit of potency at the moment, which is exactly what they need if they are to beat Arsenal here. Arsenal coming off that 5-0 win over Sheffield United. Eddie Nketiah getting himself a hat-trick. They just put all types of pressure on that Sheffield United side. And I think Arsenal are definitely favorites going into this one. I mean, they're unbeaten. They sit second. They'll want to put some more pressure on Tottenham, who sit at the top of the log. So for me, I'm going for a 3-1 Arsenal win. And my betting tip is Arsenal to win. <laughs> Next up, we got Nottingham Forest taking on Aston Villa. Now, Forest coming off a 3-0 loss to Liverpool. And I mean, it was always going to be difficult to go to Anfield and try and get some points there, which they didn't. They found it very, very tough. They currently sit 16th, but they will look to upset Aston Villa here. The problem is Villa are in some good form at the moment. They're coming off a 3-1 uh, win over Luton Town, where they absolutely dominated and will probably be a little bit disappointed they gave away their clean sheet in the manner that they did through an own goal. Um, but they are in great form, sitting fifth, unbeaten in their last five. And I think Forrest could really struggle here against a good Aston Villa side. So for me, going for a 2-0 Aston Villa win, and my betting tip is Aston Villa to win. <laughs> Next up, we got Luton Town taking on Liverpool. Now, we just spoke about both of these games. Luton Town coming off a 3-1 loss to Aston Villa. Liverpool coming off a good 3-0 win over Forest with Jota, Darwin, Nunez and Salah all getting goals. Liverpool now sit fourth and will definitely look to pick up another win here against Luton Town, who are sitting 18th with only one win to their name so far this season. For me, I'm going for a 3-1 Liverpool win and my betting tip is Liverpool to win and over two and a half goals. <laughs> Then lastly, we got Tottenham taking on Chelsea. Tottenham just in really, really good form at the moment. That 2-1 win over Crystal Palace. Yes, maybe a little, for, a little bit of fortune, but you need a little bit of luck when you sit at the top of the Premier League. That's exactly where they sit, unbeaten at the moment. Son getting another goal, and they're coming up against the Chelsea side, who we thought were just going to start coming right. And then they go and lose 2-0 to Brentford at home. It just sums up how Chelsea have performed so far this season, sitting 11th with two wins from their last five. Look, Tottenham are definitely favorites going into this one, but don't put it past Chelsea to go and sneak a draw or a win here. I just think Tottenham will have too much for them, especially with Arsenal just creeping at their heels, just nipping at their heels. So for me, going for a 2-0 Tottenham win, and my betting tip is Tottenham to win. <laughs> 